in the previous video I showed you guys how to remove and replace the low beams of the Toyota Camry. Now I'm going to show you guys how to replace the high beams. <laughs> Toyota Camry behind me is a 2005 model and the high beams use a 9005 bulb. That is just the code for it, 9005. We're going to be using the exact same brand and the exact same color scheme. These are the bulbs here, Auxedo bulbs. In the box you get the user manual, you also get a small little Allen key because I believe that if you need to adjust the locking ring in any way, there is an Allen key for it just there. And that's what you need to use the Allen key for. But I believe this is going to be a very simple fit. All you got to do is push it in, turn it, and then plug it straight in. So let's get straight into it. This is the driver's side. So standing at the front of the car, the left-hand side. As you can see, it is so easy to access the light bulb for the high beam. It's just there. And same for the passenger side. The light bulb is literally just there. So it's very easy to get your hands in there and uh, pull it out and uh, install the new one so let's just do that all you need to do to release this is turn counterclockwise and then once it releases you can just pull it straight out that's how that comes out now in order to release the bulb you need to press on this tab here and just pull it straight out that's how easily that came out just press on the tab and then release so before you want to install this, you want to make sure that you're lining it up correctly. And you want to do that by simply removing the bulb from the housing, right? So this sits in it like this, okay? And what you need to do is, you see an Allen key right here. See that hole right there? There's an Allen key there. So you grab the Allen key that they supply for you, and you undo that counterclockwise in order to loosen it. Once you loosen it, you can pull it off. Now, this is how I ensure that it is set up correctly. If you look at the way this is, right, this is the way that it starts off so that you can screw it in clockwise, okay, like that. You'll see that the two thick prongs are on either side and the thin one goes up the top here. Then you turn it about, say, that much, yeah, in between my fingers here, that much. So it ends up sitting like this, just like that. That's how it's going to finish off. So if we know that that's how it finishes off, what we should do is now grab our light bulb and simply push it in the way we want it to sit, like that. Then we have it the way we want it. We know it's going to finish like this. So now we can simply grab the Allen key and tighten it down. Here's the Allen key that they supply you, and here is the Allen key on the light bulb and all you do is just turn this in so it grips and it stays exactly the way it is right now that way we know we have it mounted perfectly okay so here we are we start off like this and then we simply push and turn that's in now so now when we look at it from the front here it should look just right and voila as you can see there it is vertically sitting and that is exactly the way it should sit just like the low beam there that's the high beam right there so that's how i went about it you can do it a different way it's totally up to you but that's just the easiest way i found to do it you may have a better way to do it please share once you've done that it really is as simple as grabbing your plug and plugging it in just like that and there you go guys that's how easy it is to install the high beams on a Toyota Camry 2005. So we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Right, so here we are now on the other side. Just like before, press on the tab here and then simply release. Now, turn it counterclockwise and it will release and simply pull your bulb out. How easy was that? Just like I did before, you loosen the mount first. I've already done this. Now, all you do is install it. Look for where it lines up. Push it in and then turn. I have to line it up just right. So that's it there. Okay, there it is locked in. So we need to readjust this. If that's how it finishes, we need to ensure that it starts here. Okay, we'll take it out. We know that it's going to start like this. It starts this way. So we need to rotate this just right. All right, so we're gonna have to remove this off here. All right, we loosen it like so. Then 
take it out give it a child fit again okay so that's the way it sits and the way it finishes will be like this with that sitting in we grab our light bulb and line it up perfectly straight push it straight in take it back out now we know our light bulb is lined up perfectly we will tighten down the grub screw to hold it perfectly in place Nice and tight, there we go. And now we can fit it in. Push and turn. So with that in, just like before, all you have to do now is plug in the harness. And you are done. So here we go. Tab is on top, tab is on top here, and simply plug it in. Now for a quick test run. I'm just gonna turn on the car. Look at that, nice and bright, looks really good, colors is matching, can't complain about that. So that's how we can look with the Auxedo 9005 LED light bulbs in a Toyota Camry. Did you guys notice that? That when I flick on the high beams, not only do the high beams come on, but also the low beams switch from low to high as well. So really, you have four bulbs that switch to high beam once you flick the high beams on, because the way H4 bulbs normally work, they have two switches. So you have your low beam, and then when you flick it to high beam, the same H4 bulb opens up like that and then it reflects a high beam and i wish they did this on all cars and it's very bright at night time which is what you want because the purpose of using high beams is so that you can really open up the road and see everything in front of you so i have to uh, give it to a toyota they came up with a good design here with the h4s and the 9005s for the high beams because when you go to flick on your high beams your low beams will also switch to a high beam giving you two pairs of high beams when i switch to a high beam you will see this light here flick up and this will turn on see that there that is insane so if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to like share comment subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one bye for now